So this is the Anthony Heating Supercar. Get a nice little view of this sucker. It's a space frame, mid-engine, twin turbo small block. Totally designed by Anthony here. He's done what all the guys when their kids dream about, make his own car, and actually been successful with it. There's some of the ghosted flames we were talking about. So the next time you guys want a 260 mile an hour car, you give Anthony a call. On a Nelson powered car, what do you need on a Nelson powered car? A parachute, of course. So there you go. You have to bring your own balls. <laughs>
was was amazing. But to drive something that your own brother has built and designed, is, that's the real thing. It was it was good. It was brilliant. We really enjoyed it. Amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. So was was there power left in the motor? Well, I'll just uh, uh, just over two hundred miles an hour. She was running. Uh, the set, well, I'll tell you that exactly what happened was after in second gear, from second gear, third gear, fourth gear. In second gear, what happens in a normal car, you get that real spring in its step and it, it shifts quite quickly and then it sort of dies down as you bring it into every other gear. This didn't do that at all. She kept maintaining your, your sole of your foot was, was just glancing the accelerator. She, she was moving. The only time that the car would slow down is when you actually took your foot away from the accelerator pedal. Other than that, she was just continuing, continuing. I bottled out at 260 and the track ran out at 260 but this had so much juice left in it, it was it was just, it's awesome really, phenomenal. Crazy, yeah and according to, from, at least from uh, what Sid tells me, he had about uh, one and a half turns on controller which is about 10 pounds of boost so yeah. just think um, you got 26 more pounds to go. <laughs> yeah well I will say that it was an honor to drive it uh, but if my brother told me the guy who owns this and built it wants someone to do the full boost, then he needs to get my other brother <laughs> and uh, get him to drive it. Or Sid, because uh, I mean it was it was brilliant. But uh, Bonneville, I'd love to see. I'd love to see what she'd do if she was opened up and it was a nice area and there was no problem breaking down. But I mean, in that at Delmarais, it's too too short a distance to 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 do the full maximum of what this car can do. I mean, it's I don't. It's, you wouldn't know. The words can't describe what, what you could do until you actually did it, I suppose. Crazy. Yeah, mad. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for giving us the experience there. You're welcome. So, Still, uh, so, so tomorrow when we turn it up, you're going to do 300? Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looking for the camera. For the camera, it's a different story, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait. Now, cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is uh, Anthony Keating, the, the creator of this Keating supercar. You know, the man had a dream, and he's created it here, and, uh, and now has broke the uh, fastest production car in the world, 260.1 miles an hour, uh, is what it went at El Mirage, which is totally sketchy because it's a dirt, really tight track, and. Uh, just what can you tell us about your background and, and how the car came about and every, you know, you name it. Well Tom, just like yourself, I'm mad about cars. Unfortunately, about the engine side, I know not a lot until I came to see you. <laughs> and I can know that now. The car itself, we designed uh, about 10 years ago now. And it took 10 years to get it up to fruition. And each time we've always wanted to build the fastest car in the world. Uh, obviously, production car, that's what we're after. All Keating TKRs come with a Nelson powertrain. It's well over what you need. I mean, we was running not a lot of boost on this and this animal was just going and going and going. Within three miles, we'd hit 260 miles an hour. It takes the Bugatti Veyron five. That tells you how good these engines are. Unbelievable. I mean, it was a pleasure to work with you guys, and uh, we'll be looking forward to next year at Bonneville. That's what we're looking forward to next. And we are laughing all the way until Tom gives us his bill. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, just tell us a little bit about the powertrain on, on this car and how you've gone about building such a powerful engine. Well, the motor that's in this car is what we put in the street cars. It's a 427 twin turbo hot rod series. And it's just been, you know, over the years, we've just been getting it better and better and better. So it's a super reliable piece that you can drive every day, but it makes uh, 1,100 horsepower on pump gas and 1,750 horsepower on race gas. And I think, you know, from, at least from the data logging and, and such that, you know, Anthony and Dan actually was only using about 900 horse to do the 260. So, you know, there's, there's actually lots of guts left in it, but it's a all aluminum small block twin turbocharged uh, engine. We've, we've been getting to know Tom since we came over and uh, Tom's come from street racing all the way through t and brought his knowledge in into the, the race car scene. Better the pressure's on that. Okay, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> 
One, two, two three. Oh man, I suck. <laughs> Get him down.